Ta-da! That's... Can they see it? I think it's covered. The capital. Oh, man. Yeah, it is covered. Guys, we are in Washington, D.C. Okay. We just saw the Supreme Court. Look! Okay, now we are walking to the Capitol, which is on this side. Um, so we're gonna cross the street. It's actually not as cold as I thought it was gonna be. It's really nice. Yeah. It's not, it's like fall kind of. Yeah! Ta-da, it's the Capitol. I don't know if we're allowed to like go closer. Yeah. I don't know how. I think you can go there and then that way. <clears throat> try we just went to the archives what were your thoughts really really dark <laughs> what were your thoughts it was interesting your part was seeing the constitution like everything in the rotunda that was yeah, like that was my favorite part yeah yes it almost felt like a different building mm -hmm. like that whole exhibit itself so yeah, because it was darker. Oh, yeah, it was so funny when you're looking at the Constitution, those huge ass security guards. Oh, right yeah. There. They're like one on each side. Uh -huh. Do you hear <laughs> this? I don't even know what you call it. That sounds like drums, too. Who the fuck is carrying drums? And people are doing this because of why, Tiffany? Because of the World Cup, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Apparently. oh my god. Crazy. I'm so sorry. He's crazy. Ta-da! This is the elevator. It's so cold. I couldn't write. <laughs> Tour time. Oh, this was a hair fresher. <laughs> this is not one of those rooms. That's like oh. We'll give a recap where we went today. We went to the Supreme Court house, then we went to... Well, they already saw that, but oh. after that. We went to the Capitol. Oh, we went to the National Gallery of Art, which is the wrong museum. Oh yeah, we were trying to go to the Portraits Gallery. <laughs> then we went to the National Archives. Then and we saw a bit of the White House. Uh -huh. Then we went to the hotel and we went to dinner. I'll show all the photos right now. And then we went to the National Christmas School. And now we're at I think it's World War II. They have other countries here. Oh. Yeah. The Lincoln Memorial. Oh! Woo. Yeah. There's the waterfall. We're trying to find New York. Oh wait, look! That's even a better view. I know. That's the Lincoln Memorial. On your left. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany was like, wasn't that the scene in Captain America when he's jogging? And I was like, oh yeah, it is. On your left. Don't say it. Don't you say it. On your left. Come on! I told her to jog and she said no. Up close. Hello. Hi. Whoa, I just fell. <laughs> Whoa, look at the monument from here. Whoa. Let's go see Abraham Lincoln. Hi. Good morning. We are in Phil's Coffee. We'll do a taste testing later. <laughs> what did you get? I got the mint mojito bar. Oh, really? Okay, okay. And I asked for it with oat milk. Uh, I don't know. I just asked them for house, house made or whatever they said. Okay, so we were telling the story about how I ordered a hot drink and then they gave me a cold drink. So then they just gave me two. <laughs> and now I have one of each. So it is good. You tried it? I'm gonna try, try the, the signature. I'm gonna try the ice. It tastes like mint chocolate chip tea. Better because it's really <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to try yours. What is this one? Go to the tea. It's their 
something hazelnut lime, but it's not flavored. It just Whoa. has milk and stuff in it, and it tastes this is flavored. good. Good, right? Yeah. Like A plus. I petitioned for bills to come to New York, please. <laughs> it's yeah. San Francisco based. Yeah. I thought it was like a yeah. thing for here. We are at the Natural History Museum made by the Smithsonian. Is this a dinosaur? No, it's a sauropod. Oh, Stegosaurus. Something called an ichthyosaur. Oh, it's a plesiosaur? Look at it. It's so big. That That's is so it scary. Like. It's like a demonic penguin. Where's that <laughs> shark? I know. We it's needed to know the time was Oh right. my god, look at it. We measured the ages of these rocks. And what extinction happened. And then the eruptions ended. It honestly looks like a crocodile. And then we realized that it was these toxic what the metro in DC looks like. We are going home now, so we are taking the train back to Union Station. It's really I know, it's so clean too compared to the subways. Yeah. Look at the floors. No. And look at the rails, like, it's lit up. <laughs> Hi guys, I stopped by Tiffany's house today. My bed is a mess as always. We exchanged our Christmas gifts and of course I forgot to vlog. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what she got me. She got me two things. The first thing is a travel jewelry box holder, which is really nice because I've never had one of these and I've always wanted one. So it comes with a mirror and then at the top, you have like the space for your necklaces. This is for your earrings, your rings, and then I guess you can put whatever else you want in here. And then she got me something from Majuri. These are like earrings that I've been eyeing for such a long time because I am like an addict for jewelry. It's honestly insane. I bought this for myself while I was in Washington, DC. Um, yeah, I just had a girls trip with Tiffany and my sister and we kind of just went to the holiday market afterward to see what we could find. We got some gifts for some family members and then I bought this um, necklace for myself. These are the studs that Tiffany got me. That's what it looks like. And now I'll be able to wear this with my like star looking hoop. I'm not hoop, my star looking stud. Um, and I've always just wanted like a stud that I can wear and not tarnish in the shower. So I'm really thankful that she got me these because I've been eyeing them for a really long time. I'm going to edit this vlog and hopefully it will be up soon. Hi guys, I thought I'd do a mini haul because I just went to a couple of stores and I just wanted to show you guys what I got. So this morning we went to BJ's and um, I've only seen this on TikTok for Costco. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And um, I used the Trader Joe's dupe for it. It's pretty good, um, but it was limited edition. It was so hard to find initially. So the fact that it's like still not back, I think it's only a limited edition item. The other thing that I got, um, I got some new pimple patches. So these, I remember I got them a while back and they were actually really good. Very comparable to the Coaster X ones, which are so much more expensive. I already showed you guys the protein bars that Jessica got me, but I've been really curious about this one. And so I got this at Trader Joe's. It's the Power Crunch triple chocolate one it's supposed to be like a wafer so i'm hoping it's better than the other textures of the other protein bars not really too sure but i wanted to give that one a try and then got something from amazon so my sister has a lululemon fanny pack 
and Ada, my friend, has two of the belt bags. One of them is black. She also has one that's like the fuzzy one and she's just a true, true advocate for the Lululemon belt bag. I, however, want the style. I just can't justify paying $40 for a small bag like that. And so I went onto Amazon and I got myself a belt bag, but it's just like a dupe. Initially, I was between like a beige and a white, and I figured that I would just go with brown because white will most likely get dirty a lot faster. I didn't work out as much as I would have liked to, but I'm going to try this out now. So I'm um, probably just gonna have like a small bite, maybe like a quarter of the bar. This is really random, but have you guys watched the show Outer Banks? Because I've recently started watching it and it's actually really, really good. It's truly like wafer texture. So that's very interesting. That's what it looks like. That is very good. It tastes like a less sweet version of a Kit Kat. Honestly, 100% recommend this. I would totally get this again. Hi guys, so today is the day after Christmas. Um, yesterday was such a chill day. I literally spent my day in my pajamas, did not even do anything else except watch um, the Harry and Meghan documentary on Netflix. If you guys have watched it, let me know your, your thoughts down below. But I thought I would just show you what my sister got me. I'm currently trying to pack because I am moving for six weeks because my next rotation is very far and um, I just thought it would be safer for like my sleep and just in general because then I don't have to be on the road when it's all snowy and stuff. The gifts that my sister got me, one of them is a fig scrub and she got me some figs in this color. I think it's called dark cherry so i was between this color and mauve um and i decided to go with this one because i just thought that mauve would wash me out a little it's not really super flattering on my skin tone so i went for this color i think it's pretty cute the second thing my sister got is a scrub jacket and this one is from well, maybe literally the same thing that my friend Jenny got me, but it's okay because now I have two. It's literally a dupe for the Lululemon Define jacket. So if you guys are looking for something like that, definitely check out Old Navy. Okay, so I'm doing this question right now on Rosh Review and it's basically like substance abuse I'm reading the explanation and there's this thing, people can use bath salts as like a substance and they're called synthetic cathinons, I think that's how you say it. Apparently, street names for synthetic cathinons include bath salts, blow, screen cleaner, vanilla sky, bubbles, MCAT, and research chemicals. Like, I'm, how did people even come up with these names and then um for synthetic cannabinoids um their street names are called k2 spice k3 crazy clown krypton aztec fire and happy tiger incense i'm literally confused like who named these things good morning guys it is officially the end of break today i'm starting adolescent psychiatry inpatient so I'm working with the new doctor again, and as you can tell, I'm just so tired. Like, I woke up this morning to my alarm going off, and even then, I just held my phone and laid there for a good 10 minutes before I actually got up. Yeah, I just feel like I'm sleep deprived, which is so strange because for the last week, I've been waking up without an alarm, and so technically, I shouldn't be behind on sleep if that makes any sense. I just got home. The doctor that I was with, she let me go early today because we basically saw all the patients that we needed to see. Apparently because of COVID and just like the holiday season, a lot of the patients that were usually there were discharged home and they didn't have as many admissions because of the holidays. 
So she only had four patients today. I got to see them with her. We saw an extra one because um, one of the providers needed some extra advice. Good morning, guys. I just got to the hospital. Um, I think something that I didn't tell you guys yesterday was that there have been a lot of COVID cases and um, specifically like in this hospital, even though it's a BLS center. So technically they don't treat for medical conditions. Um, the patients that have COVID, they're allowed to stay if they're stable. Um, yesterday, the NP that I was working with, he just said, like, if you want, you can wear an N95, um, and it's just supposed to protect me. Obviously, I'm going to wear one because I live at home and, like, there are people around me that I see all the time. I honestly thought that... By now, the whole like COVID thing would not be gone, but like wouldn't have the surges again. But that's not the case. So, if you grab, if you guys have never worn an N95 before, it is extremely suffocating. So, if you think that the surgical blue masks are a lot, like this is a whole different thing. And now I'm gonna go in there and. I guess just see the patients for today.